So let's say my credit card company has given me a card that allows me to buy everything I could ever possibly want. But because I'm fiscally responsible, I'm going to create a debt ceiling for myself. I did the spending, I've got to pay it back. You see, Kev, this is what you call an effective metaphor. And Katie Bolter even used your credit card comparison only, well, correctly. And think about it. A debt ceiling is like giving your child a credit card and they charge the limit all the way up. Would you just raise the limit? No, you well, would sit Well, if it down. meant playing with America's standing at fa full faith and credit of U.S. government debt, but if, I feel if like you, you can deal with the spending in other ways, oh, which really? is totally so, legitimate. So if you just raise the debt ceiling, do you think $31 trillion of debt, the CBO has come out in the next 10 years, do you know we'll pay 10.5? You did it three we'll times in the Trump 10, administration. As we did economic changes. We never raised the debt ceiling by but itself. But the tax cuts, that was like $2 trillion. And you know, and you there are very few better at breaking down complex government issues than California Democrat Katie Porter. And sure, while there's nothing complex about Republicans playing chicken with the economy over the debt ceiling, something they raised three times under Donald Trump, seven times under George W. Bush, and 18 times under Ronald Reagan. And not to forget that 97% of all US debt was incurred prior to Biden's presidency, 25% of which was incurred under Donald Trump. But regardless of those minor vital details, Katie Porter does a fantastic job explaining how the debt ceiling actually doesn't keep national debt down, but does threaten long-term financial harm. Which as we all know, 99% of the time impacts working class families at the benefit of the 1%. So let's say my credit card company has given me a card that allows me to buy everything I could ever possibly want. But because I'm fiscally responsible, I'm going to create a debt ceiling for myself. It's modeled on Congress. I am getting my debt. I'm going to set my personal debt ceiling at $1,000. I don't want more than $1,000 of debt. I want to be fiscally responsible. No matter how much my credit card company is willing to loan me because of my stellar credit card history. So I go to the store, and I have a lot I need to buy for my family. I fill my cart to the top. I get to the front of the store, and I ring up $500. I look at the bill, I reach for my card, I worry because I know I've already spent probably $1,000 in the last few weeks because of an ER visit, braces for my daughter. Dr. Edelberg, will my credit card company respect my personal $1,000 debt ceiling or will this transaction go through? The transaction will go through. I hate to disrespect my debt ceiling, but my kids have to eat, they need their school supplies, their feet keep growing, so I swipe the credit card, the charge goes through. Now fast forward, my credit card bill arrives. It's more than my $1,000 debt ceiling. I call up my credit card company and I tell them, I've exceeded my debt ceiling. I'm not going to pay back the $500 above my debt ceiling. Even though I've already spent it, even though my kids have already eaten the food, worn the clothes. Dr. Edelberg, will my credit card company accept this, my personal debt ceiling, as an excuse for why I'm not paying my bills? They will consider you in default. So my lender expects to be repaid, no matter what I set as my debt ceiling. If I decide to stick with my debt ceiling and I do default, you said they'll consider me in default, what's going to happen to me? They'll lower your credit limit, they'll raise your interest rate, they might even cancel the card. So I really have no choice here as a consumer, as a mom, to suspend my $1,000 debt ceiling and pay off the debt that I've taken. Buy the ticket, take the ride. I did the spending, I've got to pay it back. And this comes in the wake of an endless back and forth between Biden and McCarthy with the president himself pointing out Republicans' unwillingness to negotiate or present any reasonable means of cutting, other than targeting social security, of course, which we know was always their plan. He just said at his press conference he, would consider, he has considered the 14th Amendment. Is that something you'd be opposed to? Or? Well, yeah. I mean, really think about this. If you're the leader of the free world, if you're the only president and you're going to go to a 14th Amendment to look at something like that, 
I would think you're kind of a failure of working with people across sides of the aisle or working with your own party to get something done. Debt ceiling, that's actually paying for stuff that has already been spent. Democrats have floated changing the debt ceiling process so there's not... We can just spend more and more. Why do they want to raise this? Is to spend more money. When you raise the debt ceiling, that's actually paying for stuff that has already been spent. Okay. Let me go you and you and then... Um, the person with the camera. No, I'm joking. <laughs> uh, Speaker McCarthy said that he asked you numerous times if there was anywhere in the federal budget for cuts, but he did not get an answer. So is there I got a specific answer? answer. I got a specific answer again today. Which is what? The first, I, well, you didn't listen either, so why should I even answer the question? I, we cut the deficit by $160 billion. Billion, B-I-L-L-I-O-N, dollars on the Medicare deal. We cut the deficit by raising the tax on people making uh, 55 corporations that made $40 billion to 15 percent, and the list goes on. So, but in terms of what he is proposing, is there any room for negotiation? What's he proposing? Did he tell you? Well, Did he, you he talked about... No, 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 I'm not being facetious. Did he tell you what he's proposing? He, he was talking about the bill. Yeah, but what, what does it propose? Do you know? I'm not being a wise guy. You all are very, very informed people. Do you know what that bill cuts? He, there is a long list of things that it, it cuts. That no, he no, said. it doesn't say. It says, does it say what it's going to cut? Or just say generically it's going to cut? You get the problem. Hey, Midas Mighty, love this report? Continue the conversation by following us on Instagram, at Midas Touch, to keep up with the most important news of the day. What are you waiting for? Follow us now.